All the matter around us and life itself are made up of tiny particles called atoms. The diversity of matter and life, which can be almost infinite, is created by the combination of only about 100 types of atoms. Such atoms are composed of just three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. And the protons and neutrons are made up of particles that cannot be further separated, called elementary particles. Here at KEK, we conduct research that looks at our material world from various angles using large devices called accelerators. Welcome to KEK. At KEK, large devices called particle accelerators are used to conduct experiments and research to explain the mysteries of the universe and the origins of life and matter. KEK's research is conducted at two campuses in Tsukuba City and Tokai Village, Ibaraki Prefecture. Experiments are conducted by accelerating electrons at Tsukuba campus and protons at Tokai campus. Each campus has laboratories and research facilities, which play a central role in our work. All are supplied with the most advanced technologies available to date. Institute of Particle and Nuclear Studies Here, we try to understand the mechanisms and origins of the entire universe through research on the elementary particles and atomic nuclei that make up matter. The group focusing on experiments and the group which proposes theories work together to conduct research. Institute of Materials Structure Science Here, we are conducting research with the four beams produced by the accelerators to observe the structure of material at the molecular and atomic scale. By using a combination of synchrotron radiation and slow positrons at Scuba campus, as well as neutrons and muons at Tokai campus, we are conducting research to understand the structure and function of materials at molecular and atomic scales. Accelerator Laboratory This laboratory designs, develops, and operates the particle accelerator, an experimental device that is central to KEK's research. Applied Research Laboratory This laboratory supports various aspects of KEK's research. For research using large accelerators, it is essential to research and develop low-temperature, superconducting, high-precision technologies and safely manage the radiation generated. The laboratory operates a large computer system for the analysis of experimental data and theoretical calculations. In collaboration with the Graduate University for Advanced Studies, Seoul Kendai, KEK supports research at the university and provides equipment for the graduate students. Furthermore, KEK is an international research center and collaborates on research abroad, including at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, as well as hosting researchers from abroad. Let's take a closer look at some of the equipment used at KEK. At our Tsukuba campus, a linear accelerator produces beams of electrons and positrons. From there, the beams are directed to the synchrotron radiation facilities and to the giant collider with a circumference of 3 kilometers. The Super Keck B Accelerator and the Bell 2 instrument are KEK's flagship instruments. The combination of these two experimental instruments makes up one of the largest bee factories in the world. Music 
it is believed that at the time of the Big Bang, the universe produced an equal number of electron-like particles and antiparticles, such as positrons. In our present universe, however, only matter made of particles remains, and there is no antimatter. The difference between the properties of the particles and antiparticles, known as the CP violation, is one of the great mysteries of the universe. The Keck B accelerator and the Bell instrument proved the Kobayashi Maskawa theory, proposed to explain this mystery. Dr. Kobayashi and Dr. Maskawa, who proposed the theory, were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2008. Today, Super Keck B and Bell II are approaching the mysteries of the beginning of the universe and physics beyond the standard model of particle physics. Strong light is emitted when electrons accelerated to near the speed of light change direction. The Photon Factory is an experimental facility that provides such strong light called synchrotron radiation. The Photon Factory uses X-rays which are a high-energy form of synchrotron radiation to observe the mechanisms of material and life on the atomic scale. A circular accelerator allows many experiments to be performed simultaneously. Unlike medical X-rays, synchrotron X-rays are highly collimated, allowing smaller objects to be examined. Synchrotron radiation is used as a tool to inspect the inside of materials without destroying them and to elucidate their microscopic structure. Dr. Ada Yonath, an Israeli scientist who worked with the Photon Factory, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2009 for her work on the structure of the ribosome, protein factories inside the cell. Understanding the three-dimensional structure of proteins in detail will advance our understanding of the mechanisms of life. Studying how they bind to drugs is crucial to developing new medicines. In addition, the development of superior battery materials and catalysts is necessary to solve environmental and energy problems. By studying the relationship between the structure and function of materials at the atomic level, new materials can be designed and improved upon. The Slow Positron Facility is in the Injector Building and is used to determine the atomic arrangement of the topmost surfaces of materials using low-energy positron beams. Tolkai Campus operates with Japan Proton Accelerator Research Complex, JPARC, in collaboration with Japan Atomic Energy Agency, JAEA. JPARC is unique in its ability to produce powerful proton beams. When a target is irradiated with a proton beam, neutrons and muons are produced. The Materials and Life Science Experimental Facility conducts research using these particles. Neutrons and muons allow us to see light elements such as hydrogen and lithium, which are difficult to see with synchrotron radiation. The Hadron Experimental Facility uses hadrons, which are particles composed of multiple quarks, to study elementary particles and nuclei. In addition, neutrino beams can be produced with a proton beam at JPARC. Neutrino beams are launched from Tokai campus to Super Kamiokande, a research facility in Kamiokacho, Hida City, Gifu Prefecture, around 300 kilometers away, to study the properties of neutrinos themselves. In 2013, we discovered a phenomenon in which neutrinos of a different type than those launched appeared. Currently, we are planning to enhance the neutrino beam lines and pre-detectors with the aim of characterizing the difference between the properties of neutrinos and antineutrinos.
KEK is aiming to build more powerful accelerator facilities for the future advancement of accelerator science. At JPARC, facilities and equipment are being upgraded to further advance research in materials and life science using neutrons and muons and research in particle nuclei using neutrinos and hadrons. In addition, KEK is working with researchers worldwide toward the realization of the International Linear Collider, a linear accelerator in which electrons and positrons will collide with each other at the highest energy to be achieved by scientists. At KEK, researchers from around the world are addressing the mysteries of the vast and boundless universe that emerge from electrons and protons. The universe, matter, and life. We are constantly conducting research to understand the mechanisms and origins of everything around us and to leave a legacy of knowledge to the future.